Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today we are back with another review and this time we are reviewing, as you can tell by the title, the Makeup Revolution Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer. I've got two colours. I've got deep um, and I've got dark. I believe deep is the one that's darker than dark but we are going to actually swatch both of these. I'm going to use both. I'm going to use um, one on one side and one on the other side just to see what I, what I like and what I'm, I think about them. Before we get right into the video, if you are new to my channel then welcome. My name is Belle which is short for Chris Bell. If you are not already subscribed please be sure to click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my videos and yeah I'm just going to get right into it. For my foundation I'm actually going to use a revolution foundation today. Um, I'm going to use the hydrating sorry the conceal and hydrate foundation i've reviewed this before if you haven't seen it i will leave um a link up here somewhere and also in the description box below this is in the shade 13.2 oh by the way you guys probably may not be able to tell but i have actually recently cut my hair this is a wash and go style not a twist up wash and go that's right, I said it. I'm going to do a video of how I do that. Probably in my next one, we'll see. But yeah, this is it. I actually cut it to shape it, but this ain't about hair, this is about makeup. So we're gonna get right into the foundation. A pretty decent match we've got here. Um, I'm just gonna add in another half pump. The coverage is pretty good as I remember it. I did remember it being a bit more hydrating than it feels currently. So we got our foundation on. I must say if this didn't oxidize this would actually be a pretty decent summer shade. Nevertheless we are going to go in with some concealer. For the concealer I'm just going to quickly whiz through that and I'm going to use my Too Faced, Too Faced Born This Way concealers in the shade Chestnut and Butterscotch. I'm going to go in with a dash of butterscotch just on the inner part of my eye. I'm just going to quickly set that in place with the Laura Mercier translucent powder. So I just quickly set the lower part of my mouth with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in Medium Deep. We now move on to the bronzer. I'm just going to take it out of this packaging real quick. If I can get it out. Okay. So these have already been out for, I don't know, like two, two weeks maybe? Or maybe even three weeks, who knows? Um, been a little bit behind. But I did want to get this video out for you anyway. I've had these bronzers for about a week now and I've only just managed to get this out for you guys now. So this is the packaging. As you can see, it's pretty, pretty big. Let's have a look inside. So I'm going to look at dark first. Look how nice and warm that is. And I presume some of you guys have all probably already seen these bronzers in pictures or in videos. Maybe some of you already have your hands on them. But I got two shades just because I wasn't 100% sure which one I would like more. I have been told that the dark one is quite similar to Mocha Mummy by Fenty Beauty. But this is what they look like. So this one is deep and this one is dark. So you can see how nice and rich they are. How chocolatey they are. This one obviously seems a bit more cooler and this is more warmer. But I'm going to use both of them and see what my thoughts are so i'm actually just going to grab another brush just in case okay so i decided to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see it a bit more and i've got two different brushes here that i'm going to be using so i think we will first go in with the shade dark and i'm going to go in with dark on this side i've deliberately chosen not to um cream contour because i really do want to see the true shade of these bronzers so let's go in with dark so i've just dipped it in about three times Woo. 
Ooh. Oh, I like that. Have a look. That looks stunning. Oh, that's definitely my kind of shade. Oh, these smell amazing. It smells like pineapple. Some type of fruit. It smells delicious. Oh, that smells delicious. I'm just going to build that up a little bit more. Oh, that looks stunning. That looks so beautiful. It might look a bit overpowering on camera, but in person it's not. I'm just going to bring this up here a little bit. That is a beautiful shade. Absolutely stunning. So this shade is again dark. Is it dark? Yep, yeah, it's dark. So I'm just going to bring it up here a little bit more. Oh, that looks stunning. And I do love to look very, very bronzed. So I'm really not going to hold back on this. I love how warm I look with that. Some people said this is similar to Mocha Mami, but if I'm honest, I would use this on its own, but Mocha Mami I would not use on its own because that one just seemed a bit too red for me. So maybe Mocha Mami has a hint more, uh, more warmth than this one, but this one looks absolutely beautiful. I really like the way that looks compared to this. I'm gonna now go on to the shade deep on this side and let's see what that looks like can't really see much let me add a bit more okay so this is definitely a bit more of a contour as you can see it has given me a bit more of a quote-unquote snatch so I definitely wouldn't say that this is a bronzer for me but for someone whose skin tone is a little bit darker this is definitely a bronzer for me it comes across more as a contour so um yeah i'm actually still gonna go ahead and put it on my forehead okay so here we've got um deep and here we've got dark so dark is definitely going to be my go-to deep is very nice if you want a bit more depth if you want a bit more of a sculpted look but um yeah i wouldn't say that deep is on me personally a bronzer definitely a contour has given me a bit more snatch what i could do is just wear deep and then put blusher on my cheeks so that it looks a bit more warm but I actually prefer the way this one looks, but I like both of them. They're actually both nice, so I'm actually glad that I got both shades. But just to show you again, this is deep. And that's dark. They both look amazing, so let me go in and balance these out now. So I've just added um, dark onto the deep side and now I'm even a more warm so I'm just going to go back in with that brush that I used um, deep with just to blend that out a little bit okay so let's go in with deep on this side and these are pretty pigmented on camera it is coming across just a tiny bit more warmer but in person i promise you it's very much wearable and it's not as scary as it might appear i am using natural lighting as well i'm actually just going to add a bit more of that on my nose this is the shade dark oh it smells divine so it's safe to say that i went a little bit ham on the nose on this side this side's a little bit more subtle, but nevertheless, I'm going to add some of that in my crease as well. Look at that, guys. That's warmed me right up. And if you wanted a little bit more depth, you could always go in with the deep bronzer. I'm just going to finish the rest of my face and I will come back and basically show you the final look. Okay guys, so I finished my full face and this is what we are looking like. 
I'm absolutely loving my base today. I have to say these bronzers definitely made a difference in terms of how I feel about my makeup. I just love the warmth, the undertone, the pigmentation that I'm receiving from these bronzers. Not only are they eight pounds, but look how big they are. You get 15.5 grams in these. They are huge, so definitely gonna last you a long time. I don't know how much you get in the Sunstalker bronzers by Fenty Beauty, but I definitely know that this is bigger. I mean, the whole pan itself, the packaging is a lot larger, so this one will definitely take you a long way. It's definitely gonna last a long time. People, I think, really underestimate Revolution and what they could actually come out with. They're still a drugstore brand, but they've really stepped it up in terms of quality and also the variety of things that they are bringing out. They are a lot more inclusive than they were a couple of years ago. Um, and I think it's just a case of learning and growing. And I, as a brand, they've grown so much and I'm really impressed with what they've been bringing out lately because it's very... Um, friendly for people of colour I wouldn't even just say black people just people of colour it's a lot more friendly people that are much deeper than me can even use these bronzers I don't believe this is the darker shade I don't know if it's two or three shades darker than than deep but let me just have a look quickly okay so I've just had a look on their website um and there is one two three four five there's six bronzer shades and there is one darker than there's one darker than deep right so okay so here we go so they all have different undertones and from what i can see dark has a warm undertone there's a shade after dark which is medium dark that looks like it's got a cool undertone and then there's deep which looks a bit more warmer than medium dark and then there's deep dark i will definitely say i'm pretty happy with the results that i received from these bronzers I 1000% recommend them, especially if you're not looking to splash um, any more money on Fenty or whatever. You can definitely get a lot of wear out of these bronzers and they're £8. They're very affordable. So you can get two of these bronzers for £16 and it will still be cheaper than the Fenty Beauty bronzers. So, But obviously the majority of you or many people already have their hands on Fenty Beauty bronzers but if you wanted to top up these are definitely a good one to go for so I'm very happy that I've got these um I really have no complaints whatsoever they smell amazing the smell is not overpowering it's very subtle but it smells very very nice and peachy very fruity which is absolutely delicious if you guys wanted to know what I'm wearing on my lips I'm wearing the Revolution Glory Lip Liner but I also mixed it with mac bittersweets london soft matte cream lipstick on my lips which is by nyx cosmetics and then i've topped it up with revolution lip gloss in salted caramel for my highlighter i am using revolution highlighter reload in time to shine which is this i have included this in one of my previous videos but this is what it looks like i'm very much loving my base makeup today my eyes, obviously I did add some bronzer into my eyes as well and I've got um, the Huda Beauty legit lashes on my eyelashes and I actually think they actually came out better today than it did in the actual review video. So yeah, that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and also be sure to subscribe if you are not already subscribed and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.